This week I'm going to talk about releasing the negative. It says in Matthew 6:25, therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life. Well, how do you not be anxious about your life? Well, you do it by not being anxious about your life. See, you have free will. You can choose to be anxious or not be anxious. Know the importance of asking God's help to help you release negative feelings and by letting go of painful memories and painful visions of your future. God loves you. And through that divine love, you release whatever may have happened in childhood, what may have happened this past year, what may have happened yesterday, or even a moment ago. You are whole and you're free right now in God. And the past, the past is past. It cannot limit it cannot defeat you. Every person and circumstance in your life you now see as a blessing. Even the things that have been a bit difficult, look for the good. Look for what it taught you. I have learned more from some of the experiences that haven't been that pleasant at the time than often pleasant experiences. Be thankful that a challenge can be a turning point that helps you to learn, to helps you, that helps you to grow. Even the most difficult times can call you to a greater degree of understanding, that a greater understanding than you've ever had before in your entire life that will empower the rest of your life. With God, you can rejoice in who you are. You will become free when you realize that with God, you can face life in a positive way, that you're God's beloved child, and you're unlimited and you are able to accomplish great things with God. I pray today, this week, that you'll be able to release the negative, let it go, and grab hold of the positivity of faith in God in your own life. Amen.